personality in a cat? Then you want this cat, the Singapura. I love the Singapura. It's the tiniest cat breed. They're tiny? They're cute cats, very similar to an Abyssinian. Way smaller than the average feline. In fact, full-grown adult females can weigh as little as four pounds. It's a powerful, assertive cat with a lot of personality. So don't just think of it as a little cat. They're lively, curious, and intelligent little animals that love to be right in the middle of the action. And it's not a kitten thing. They stay this way all their lives. The Singapores are known as pesky little people cats. They kind of get into whatever you're doing, reading a book, doing the computer. And they love to meow. As tiny and cute as they are, their voices tend to be very soft and very sweet. As far as where these kitties come from, well, there's some discrepancy. Some say here in the States, while others say the cats came from Singapore. No matter where they originated, we're happy to have them. It's believed that the Singapore may actually be a cross between the Burmese and the Abyssinian. And so it's the Singapore's tiny body that's, of course, their most outstanding trait. And this little guy's coat is quite impressive, too. The official name for the coloring um, of the Singapore is sepia aguti, which is a kind of like a, a light beige color. Pretty much all of them are that color. The Singapores are pretty healthy and can live up to 15 years. However, because of their small size, they do have issues delivering. The Singapores often have to have a cesarean section to deliver their tiny little kittens. Keeping the Singapore looking good is easy. A good brushing twice a month and nail clipping are all you need. As for being a good family pet, they are because they have great personalities and love to be in the middle of the action. So in general, Singapores are pretty healthy. They don't need too much grooming and they make good family pets. They're very cute. They are, they're signed up those cats.